Advaita model of the circuit, we can we can we can also uh, uh, generate the start function in an automated form. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to steal the picture for a moment and and then. Need to see for a second. We need to do a new new one. <laughs> Yeah, you might be right. I think this this is probably thing to do because I just need I just need a picture. Oh, let me get back in here. I think we need the accessories one. I just want to put it on this. That way, I can access whenever I need to. So, I'll ju I just need the example in here. Don't need any anything else. So let's just paste it over here. Do you remember the bone graph model of this thing? It was very easy to do. Uh, and here you have the one for the current, like this. We attach the C element over here. We attach the R element over here. The source here. And then this one is the I element. This is with L. This is C. This is R. And this is your voltage here. If we enter this into the Camp G program, you will see that we can produce this transfer function very easily. Let me show you how that would work. So uh, let's just go over here to programs, and then we'll go over here, and then we have this uh, Camp G as we call it in here from there. Okay. There we go. So I think it's always good to have the system on the on one side and the software on the other side. Mm. Remember, I think I have lost the mouse this time again, and uh, this is a challenge for me at this point because I can't. Then, fortunately, that thing is alive. So let's see if we can. I think there's something going mm. on. Try and choose a different window that's not the KMG. The one from OneNote is the one that I need to Where pick. Yeah, this okay. one. But where is the mouse? I am mouseless. Let's just go down like that and um, perhaps mm. this is something that we experienced last time um, We 
just need to get the uh, the program running. And we have problems with uh, with this with this running. Yeah. Okay. We'll try again. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and then uh, go to this program. Yeah, we're gonna say new and then we'll enter the 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 model as as we did before and this is the our element in here which is from here to here and then we have the C over here right and then we have the I element over here like this from here to here okay remember one thing um, perhaps it might be a good idea I could just uh, steal this for now um, get this one I just want the picture Click on new. I'm just gonna steal this little part in here so that we can put it in in, in our notes <coughs> but if you go to the interface to MATLAB yeah and we continue over here like this okay let's just keep this one in there because we are going to need this perhaps I'll put it in the one note so that you can see uh, uh, yeah, right there okay so what happened is by now we have a MATLAB interface that's running in here still this is running a little bit MATLAB has produced these files that are that are behind here, right here I mean CAMG has produced these files that are behind here I usually do the preferences so that uh, we can do the uh, fonts and get them in a nicer way in here, bold with a thing like that see what I told you last time and I'm telling you now is we work with this file with a CAMG SYM file we have to tell the computer which myopod is, in this case is E3 so I have to say okay E sub 3 this is E sub 3 is the one that we are we are looking for as an output so we need to uh, activate this in here we say okay this is my output number one and then make this of course a one and make the first row one so what will happen is that in here if I go and say run, save the file and run this, watch what's gonna happen. These are the matrices, and then the the uh, gave me the transfer function here. This one is the transfer function. The question is, is it is it like the one that that I have for my uh, for my uh, system okay um, what do, what do we have in here 
you remember this was the transfer function in here that one see the way it gives me on the right hand side is it the same as this this is if you if you were to uh, to simplify multiply 1 over c here you will have that uh, you will have c well we could do it i so that you can see no, you get exactly what you have over there. that that's that's what i'm trying to say so in here you will have that um let's just do it over here b or c over b this would be uh, 1 over L times C times S squared plus R times C uh, times S plus 1. See, so in this case, this transfer function that you're seeing here is exactly the same as what you see on the right hand side because i is l c is c r is r and c is c and the one the point that i'm trying to say in all this is that um, you can obtain the transfer function using the camg software automatically in fact let's just uh, try over here to s yeah to see in here this is the the trans the transfer function as as you see maybe i wanted to put it on the notes but uh, maybe it will allow me here if i could just take it from here see like that and then i'll i'll just put it in here so that you can see um, you can see it just move it a little bit in here this transfer function that you that having here is exactly the same as this automated transfer function and with that i want to leave you uh, uh, with with that thinking that instead of doing all that derivation that, that we did in here I can uh, by doing the bond graph uh, model I can produce the transfer function in just a few seconds